Come on in. Welcome to the Ahura showroom. Come on in. This is uh, our stoolin. It's all made out of scrap wood. Uh, it's an awesome lamp out of an old reclaimed buoy. This chair is made out of reclaimed bourbon barrels from Kentucky. Tire frame is made out of uh, springs from New York City fire trucks, from leaf springs, from the suspension. Uhuru Cyclone Lounger just arrived from Brooklyn, and we are unwrapping it for the first time. I am really excited to see it and to see this Coney Island boardwalk that they used in this piece for the seat. We're all familiar with the term recycling, but not everybody's familiar with the term upcycling. And this is an idea that came up in the 90s as a way of describing recycling that actually adds value to the materials being used. You're talking about taking materials that have been wasted or are potentially being wasted and turning them directly into something that can be used without all of the process in between. At the beginning, there was a lot of driving around in our little pickup truck and mm -hmm. searching out what, you know, we could find on building yeah. sites, on the street, you know, demolition of old buildings, you know, we'd just route through, you know, construction dumpsters. Get it, kind of get that point. The really successful things have been like, you know, them dumpstering that Coney Island boardwalk. Like when we first got it, like literally they were throwing it in the dumpster. The idea of the piece was standing at the bottom of the coaster, like looking through all the wooden trusses in the structure. So it's almost like a silhouette of looking through that structure. I think the first thing is we want people to be struck by the forms, you know, and to be attracted to it immediately. Because if you're not interested in looking at it, then it doesn't matter what the story is about it or how well it's made. But we want things to kind of unfold. So as people see something and they learn about the material and what drew us to create that piece, I think that's like the most important part. Basically, we, we want to do you know well-built, sustainable furniture that can be passed on from generation to generation. And I mean, if that's the focus, like that's the thing we want to do better than than anyone else does it right now. And that's that's kind of been our focus. <laughs>